Alright guys, so welcome back to the Dino Dungeon, okay? So today, we will be taking a look at our Sharks collection because recently, we have actually added quite a few new Shark figurines to our collection, okay? So let's go through every single one of them together again and of course, we are going to pack them neatly into the two boxes right here, okay? So at the end of the video, just gonna give you guys like a quick update of what's coming up on Dan Surprise, okay? So let's do this. Alright guys, so let's begin the video, okay? We will have to pack every single shock figure neatly into our box, okay? Two boxes actually. So this one is basically our latest shock figure edition. It is a Gujitsu figure. It's very cute. Initially, the slime inside was actually just transparent. There was like no slime until I cracked open this little ball and the blue slime came flowing out to fill the entire body. So this is actually like a very, very fun figure, I would say. A very beautiful Gujitsu figure. You can actually like stretch it. You can like, you know, press it. Very, very cute and adorable. For this, we won't be putting into our velvet box right here. We'll be putting this over here, okay? Just for now, because I do have a different space for the Gujitsu figures. This figure has been with us for quite some time. We got this figure from our local Toys R Us and it comes with a button right here. Very cool little figure. I'm gonna put this one into um, this box right here, okay? All the huge figures will go into the right box. This one as well. This is actually a Megalodon, a prehistoric shark, and this figure is actually from PNSO. Very cool figure as well. All right, let's move on to our next one. This one is also one which I think we got it um, online. It is from Fisher Price and it comes with two wheels below. If you move the wheels, as you guys can see, the tail will move along, it will move sideways. And it comes with one, two, two points of articulation, which is like super cute. Of course, it comes with a button as well. Very, very cute little shock. I think this will be very, very popular among the kids for sure next up we have a basking shock figures i think we do have a couple of basking shock figures in our collection this one is from collect 2020 figure this is a shock ray beautiful one from um, collect -A. i almost said schleck and this one is a hammerhead shock that comes with plenty of um, articulation as well this great white came oops <laughs> This great white is also from the same series. It has a removable jaw. Not too sure what is the function of the removable jaw. This is a goblin shot right here. Um, we got this from Toys R Us, our local Toys R Us. Yes, fortunately, in my country, we still have Toys R Us. Hammerhead Shark Baby, it's supposed to be a baby, as you guys can see, the name is written right here. But of course, it's quite a huge figure as well. Okay, another Megalodon. In case that you guys do not know, Megalodons are 10 times the size of a modern day Great White Shark. And this is a modern day Great White Shark. They have a great sense of smell. Here's another Great White. What is this? I think we got this very recently as well. It is a Salmon Shark, a 2022 Safari LTD figure. I think we have a couple of Salmon Shark figures in our collection. I'm not too sure whether this is a Salmon Shark, but I think so. It is the only shark with like spots, you know, and it doesn't have the name written right below, so I'm not 100% sure, but I'm just going to call it a Salmon Shark. And this is a Goblin Shark, which is um, kind of like a very weird looking shark. The face, the snout actually extend, extends when it's about to feed on its prey. Yeah, very, very cool. And they can only be found in the deep ocean waters. Here's another really cute shock figure. Hammerhead shock again. Okay. Great white. And what is this? Another hammerhead. Let's go with one that you guys may not be able to recognize. What is this shock? This is a short fin Mako shock. Very beautiful figure as well. Another great white shock figure. Here is another great white shock figure as well. This one is probably a tiger shark. A mega mouth shark that can only be found in the deep ocean waters. Robogong. Scallop hammerhead shark. 
okay oh my goodness i actually put the shocks into the wrong box so i'm gonna retrieve them and put them back into the right box this is a sand tiger shock it is actually one of the most it's one actually one of the shyest shock around they are actually quite timid and afraid of humans but although they look very intimidating fruit shock very rare shock as well hammerhead shock right here and another mega moth shock which is also a very weird looking shock that can only be found in the very very deep ocean waters goblin shock so i was telling you guys that the moth actually extends when it's about to feed on the prey so this is actually um i think without the extension of the mouth it will basically look more like a normal shock but it can actually extend its mouth to this very very weird and goofy looking shape i would say <laughs> all right let's um, move on to our next figure here is another great white shock figure um this figure is not very high quality as you guys can see the paint is coming off another great white shock figure right here this is a zebra shark, also known as a leopard shark. So zebra sharks and leopard sharks are basically the same species, just that the spots and the stripes will change. As you guys can see, it has the spots right here, but this one doesn't have the stripes. This is also known as a zebra shark. Okay, so they are actually the same. Zebra sharks and leopard sharks are the same. Bonnet head shark, as you guys can see, the head actually resembles the head of a hammerhead but it's actually slightly shorter. Scallop hammerhead shark right here. And another salmon shark figure. A very rubberized uh, shark figure. Uh, a great white. Okay. A basking shark. Nurse shark right here. Lemon shark. Okay, lemon shark basically gets its name from the color of its skin. Saw shark, or rather sawfish. Okay, it has a saw-like structure right here, which can be used to slice up its prey. Very cool. Tiger shark, which is one of the um, very easily recognizable um, sharks out there because of its stripes. Shark ray, right here. At the end of the video, I want you guys to comment in the comment section which is the most favorite shock figure in this video? Right now, I'm gonna go with this super squishy figure. Yeah, from the Gujitsu. I think it's so, so, so adorable. I may be getting more um, Gujitsu figures, okay? Saw Shock again. This one, I'm not too sure what it is. It looks like a, a, a Nurse Shock because of this two fang like structure. Hammerhead Shock. Megalodon. And another sawfish. Tiger shark, as you guys can see, with the stripes on his body. I think tiger shark is also one of the more aggressive sharks out there. And this one, it's a blue shark. Miko shark is a very fast swimmer. Okay, this is a Miko shark. Just now, the one with the curved body was a short fin Miko shark. And um, this one, it's an oceanic white tip shock okay thrasher shock basically has a very very long tail okay and it can use its tail to whip out at at the prey i mean basking shock with the mouth wide open and another tiger shock right here great white shock another great white shock figure Um, I can't remember the name of this two shark, so I definitely need the help of you guys. Bamboo shark, we have some tiny little shark figurines right here. This is a hammerhead shark, a tiny little hammerhead. We have a black tip reef shark, I think, and this one should be a great white. Leopard shark, yep, so this one can be considered a zebra shark as well. Shock Ray, guys. Okay. Thrasher Shock right here. A Wobbegong. This is the white 
tip reef shark. Just now was a white tip oceanic shark. This one is a shark, um, not shark. <laughs> Basking shark right here. Another thresher. A mini great white hammerhead shark. Beautiful one. This one, it seems to be. I'm not too sure. This one is a bull shark. This one could be a bull shark as well. I'm not too sure. I'm just, you know, making a guess. Probably. With a small little great white. This is the black tip reef shark. Very easily recognizable. It's a smaller species of sharks up there. Hammerhead. Probably a great white. This one, I have no idea. This is probably a zebra shark, I think. Most likely a blue shark or a mako shark. Saw shark for sure. Great white. Great white or probably a blue shark. Hammerhead. This one is a no idea shark. I have no idea what this is. It just looks so weird. Okay, so basically this is my shark's collection. Of course, you know, this box right here. We also have another huge box over here guys. This is basically but this box actually contains some um wheels as well. So yep. Alright. Thanks for watching this. I'm hoping to add more shucks collection to um I mean I'm hoping to add more shucks figures to my collection. So stay tuned. If you guys have any suggestions on what other shock figures I can get please let me know down below. But I'll definitely be getting more Gujitsu figures, okay? So here's some updates for you guys. Check this out, guys. So I've basically purchased this set, um, you know, on my own. It's a Gujitsu um, dinosaur set, okay? So let's take a look. It's basically a Gigar. A Gigar is like, um, like a woolly mammoth, I suppose. And this is like a T-Rex. Very cute. So I'll be opening this too in tomorrow's um, Saturday's video on Dan Surprise, okay? So, yesterday we've actually added this brand new Golden Giga. Yep, beautiful. You know, I think you guys have actually gave me some names for this human shelf. So I'm just gonna call it the Basement Human Kingdom. I think it sounds really cool. So it will be a mixture of some of the suggestions given by you guys. So pretty excited about that. And um, yeah, I hope to see you guys in the next video. Um, the next video probably we're gonna be doing reptiles versus sea animals. It's gonna be really, really cool, okay? So stay tuned for that. I'll see you guys. I'll probably upload another video on Sunday, so stay tuned for that.